This is a paper I published in the Journal of Aesthetic and Restorers of Dentistry, which was evidence-based efficacy of ozone for root, root canal irrigation. I would recommend you, you can go online, and, and it, like, I think it's free online, just download that paper, and it goes through a comparison of every study that has been published to date in the area. And what it has shown is once you deliver enough dose of ozone, your results are phenomenal in every study published to date. I've also, two months earlier in 2008, you can look up the paper that's also called Evidence-Based Efficacy of Ozone for Dental Caries Treatment, which is a separate paper and reviews all the literature with respect to caries as well. So it's also in the Journal of Aesthetic and Restorative Dentistry in 2008, and you can download those. I think they're free from Medline. If, you, if, you, if, they, if they ask you to pay for them, if you I'll put my email address up at the end, send me an email and I'll send it to you free. Free is always better. <laughs> Your root canals, again, the, the situation speaks for itself. Res ipsa loquitur. It's very clear ozone is cleaning out the canal systems absolutely superbly. So, ozonated water in all your ultrasonic root canal irrigation devices, and you can also deliver ozone gas effectively from your biosonic system and your helozone system. You will never have clean root canal systems comparable to what can be achieved with ozone. And the difference is phenomenal in the success. Because ozone's also turning on the healing processes. I'm deliberately having acoustic streaming to flush the ozonated water beyond the apex. Because beyond the apex, the cementum is covered by endotoxin. It's covered by lipopolysaccharides. It's infected with the pathogenic microorganisms, Enterococcus faecalis and so on, which sodium amber chloride can't kill. And in fact, you cannot put sodium amber chloride through the apex because it is so irritant. Ozonated water is completely biocompatible, as published in many papers. So it's giving us far better success for our root canal therapies. It's giving us better cleaning, a better disinfection, and allowing us to have much more rapid healing from these procedures in a highly predictable way. It's bringing our root canal therapy to a totally different level and a far higher level of success. So in summary, from the endodontics, I believe that with root canal therapy, in order to achieve the best possible success, ozone should be used in every single case of root canal therapy. I'm also a specialist endodontist. Most of the top specialist endodontists in, in the UK and around the world are using ozone as the final procedure at the end of the conventional cleaning and shaping. Use your sodium hypochlorite and all the other techniques as normal. Go in at the end for, for 30 to 60 seconds with the ozone. 30 seconds per canal is perfectly sufficient and end up getting the canals the level of virtual disinfection, which sodium hypochlorite can never achieve. <coughs> Moving to bleaching, which I know is not on your title today, but um, I, a couple of people have asked me after this morning's lecture what some aspects of bleaching in. This is a very interesting system that's um, in the UK. I don't know if they've launched it here. It's a product called Get to Smile from a company called Smile Studio. The Get To Smile system has got a light that's working very much on a thermal diffusivity principle, which heats it to 60 degrees centigrade. It fits on the patient's uh, mouth on this lip retractor. And the big advantage you have is that you, uh, the system, you're using a lower concentration of peroxide because you're combining it with ozone. And as a result, you don't have to fiddle around with rubber dam for surgery bleaching. You don't have to fiddle around with 
paint on dental glands and isolations, which take a considerable length of time. All you're simply doing is you're putting on the lip retractor, you're painting on the weak system of peroxide that you've chosen to use. I usually use 10%. I've mixed in a drop of ozonated water from the therazone, or you can go ahead and apply the gel on the teeth and deliver your biosonics or your helazone gas directly onto the lesion, onto the um, gel. So you're ozonating the gel on the tooth. Remember, ozone dissolves in water more than 10 times more easily than oxygen. It's highly soluble in, in water. So therefore, when you put your gas on from your helazone or your biosonic system, it is dissolving into this oxidant and therefore activating the hydrogen peroxide to decompose into the free radicals, hydroxyl ion and superoxide anion, and activate as oxygen in order to do the bleaching very rapidly. The results you achieve with this technique with bleaching far exceed the results you can achieve using high concentration peroxides, which are time consuming, which cause considerable gingival irritation if you touch the gingiva, and of severe sensitivity on occasions. Hardly any sensitivity with this technique whatsoever. And what you're getting is a very high level of predictability. And remember, these are using only 10%. You're not using a 35% hydrogen peroxide mixture. You're using a very simple technique to work through and achieve a, 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 white, a better whitening result in a very short space of time. So basically, the new generation of whitening is effectively doing what the textile industry have been doing for more than 15 years. What it does is ozone is activating hydrogen peroxide. One plus one equals five. It's synergistic. They work together. Ozone bleaches. Ozone breaks into the superoxide anion, which is a free radical that bleaches. It bumps into the hydrogen peroxide and breaks it into superoxide anion and hydroxyl radical, and they bleach. So the new generation of tooth whitening effectively is combining with ozone. There's a case from Julian Holmes back quite a number of years ago, and just 20 minutes application with ozone. In fact, in that case, he was using the helazone. So bleaching has radically changed. No longer for surgery bleaching do we just use peroxide. We are very much using peroxide and ozone. If the patient has veneers, bleach from the palatal. So therefore that shine through effect will give the, the teeth uh, looking lighter, even though they have porcelain laminate veneers. And after we use our ozone combined with peroxide, what we always notice as well is the teeth are quite shiny. And they're quite shiny because the ozone's making the peroxide more alkaline, which is also making the peroxide more effective. So we're dealing with a situation that's giving us very high predictability. Predictability that we could never achieve with the conventional peroxides on their own. It's also taking out the staining in teeth that otherwise with the peroxide would often end up not giving us a comparable result. So high predictability and a, a, a result that's giving us better whitening compared to what we could achieve by any conventional technique. As I say, those of you who are already doing bleaching with ozone will know exactly what I'm talking about. The difference is phenomenal. It's taking out those dark marks within the teeth that otherwise can be difficult with peroxide on its own. It helps with those individual dark discolored teeth to help also lighten those individually much more. It's in general giving us a more successful result 